In this video, I will show you an example of RMS value. This is the first example. Determine the RMS value of the following current having a DC current of 10 ampere and a sinusoidal current of peak value 10 ampere. See, whenever we have a DC current, that means that current will not change its value with respect to time. That means with respect to time t, it will maintain a constant value of 10 ampere. This red shaded line indicates that DC current. Now see, with respect to this DC current, we will have a sinusoidal current, which will have a peak value of 10 ampere. That means the maximum value of sinusoidal current will be 20 ampere during positive half cycle and the minimum value of the or the negative maximum of the sinusoidal current with respect to this DC current will be 0 ampere. Now see, how do we calculate the RMS value of any alternating quantity? We calculate the RMS value of any alternating quantity by using this formula root over area of the squared waveform over full cycle divided by the period of the squared waveform. See, area of the squared waveform over full cycle divided by the period of the squared waveform and its root over will indicate our IRMS. To calculate IRMS, I will follow these five steps. At first, I will determine the period of the given waveform. See, this will be the positive half cycle of the alternating current and this will be the negative half cycle. If we look between 0 to twice point interval, the waveform within this interval will be repeating in the upcoming cycles. Therefore, that means from twice pi to 3 pi, I will get next positive half cycle and from 3 pi to 4 pi, I will get the next negative half cycle. This is how in the upcoming cycle, we will get this kind of alternating or sinusoidal current. So here period or time interval t will be equal to twice phi. So the period t is equal to twice phi. After that we have to express the waveform into its equational form over full cycle. That means from 0 to twice by interval, we have to express all the components of current into its equational form. Let's say I have a sinusoidal current I. That sinusoidal current is oscillating with respect to time axis like this. If the amplitude of the current is A and the equation of the current I will be equal to A sine omega t or equal to a sin theta. See, as the current is oscillating with respect to zero axis, you will see the DC component will be equal to zero. But here, the DC current is equal to 10 ampere. And with respect to this 10 ampere, the oscillating current whose peak value will be 10 ampere will be oscillating. That's why our current equation I will be equal to at first I will in include the DC component 10 after that the amplitude of the sinusoidal current which is 10 plus 10 and this will be a sinusoidal current so this will be 10 plus 10 sine theta or I will be equal to 10 into 1 plus sine theta now, if you want to cross check the equation i equal to 10 plus 10 theta, you can write down this equation into MATLAB and you will see this kind of waveform in the MATLAB figure. Okay. So the equation of alternating current is equal to 10 plus 10 sine theta or 10 into 1 plus sin theta. After that, we will take the square of the waveform by taking the square of that equation. We will take the square of the waveform. What does that mean? This is our current waveform. If I take the square of this waveform, I will get I square, which I will represent with 
this i square which will be equal to 100 into 1 plus sine theta whole square so here i can expand this equation 100 into 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine square theta now see we know this formula 2 sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 theta here we have sine square theta so if i take 2 here and divide this with 2 here i will get i square equal to 100 into 1 plus 2 sine theta plus half minus cosine 2 theta over 2 so here i square will be equal to 100 1 plus 2 sine theta plus half minus cosine 2 theta over 2 so this will indicate the square of the given wave form after that we have to calculate the area under the squared wave form over full cycle how do we get that we calculate the area under the sorry this is squared wave form over full cycle by integrating the squared equation over full cycle what does that mean see here the squared wave form is i square which is equal to 100 1 plus 2 sine theta plus half minus cosine 2 theta over 2 this is i square if i integrate i square over its full cycle that means if i integrate it with respect to 0 to twice phi i will get the area of the squared wave form over full cycle after that if i divide this with the period of the waveform that is equal to twice phi and i take the root over i will get the rms value of current so here i rms will be equal to root over period of the squared waveform will be twice phi and area of the squared waveform over full cycle will be equal to integration of 0 to twice phi i square d theta now let me calculate integration of i square d theta here 0 to twice phi i square d theta integration of 0 to twice phi 100 into 1 plus 2 sine theta minus plus half minus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta if i perform the integration i will get 100 theta minus 2 cosine theta plus theta over 2 minus sine 2 theta over 4 lower limit 0 upper limit twice phi now if i put the limit i will get 100 twice phi minus 2 cosine twice phi plus twice phi over 2 minus sine 4 pi over 4 minus 0 minus 2 cosine 0 sorry plus 2 cosine 0 minus 0 plus 0 because sine 2 into 0 sine 0 will be 0 this theta by 2 will be equal to 0 therefore I will get this will get cancelled with this two this is sine 4 phi sine 4 pi has a value of 0 cosine twice phi has a value of 1 
so here I will get 100 twice 5 minus 2 plus 5 this will be 0 see this is cos 0 cosine 0 is equal to 1 so here I will get plus 2 so integration of i square d theta over 0 to twice by interval will be 100 into 3 phi this will be the integration of 0 to twice phi i square integration of i square d theta over 0 to twice by interval and this will indicate the area under the e squared waveform over full cycle so here we will get root over 100 into 3 phi over twice phi this will get cancelled with this one here we will get 150 this will be equal to Twelve point two four seven ampere, and this is our I RMS of the given waveform.